Good morning. This is the morning after Hurricane Dorian came through here. Uh, I'm just out here enjoying my coffee, listening to the sound of chainsaws wafting from the neighborhood, cutting down the trees that, uh, that came down during the storm. I'm pretty lucky in that all I lost was a dead tree down there but uh, and some other minimal damage and I got power back this morning so I can make my coffee but it really made me start to think more about the parallels between the dynamics in the hurricane and our own lives because sometimes our lives can feel like a hurricane and that's all we live in is the chaos but then there's that eye the eye of the storm Last night, I think it was around seven o'clock or so, <clears throat> the eye passed over here and it was amazing the, the shift that happened from the, 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 the winds that were just practically, it seemed like they were knocking everything down to just this calm and stillness. Some people even saw uh, blue skies during that time. And then it came again. And the thing is, in our lives, we've got the opportunity to stay in that center, to stay in a place of calm. But we, what we tend to do is we just live in the caca. Like right now that, yes, everyone was bracing, getting ready for the storm. Now everyone's dealing with the cleanup and frantically dealing with that or desperately trying to find a coffee shop that's open if their power isn't on. Uh, <clears throat> so how much of your life is spent in the kaka and i think we actually get hooked on that you know you've heard me talk about i'm sure that when we get stressed it's not just when we're stressed but when it, we imagine and relive it in our mind's eye our body catalyzes 1400 chemical and 30 hormonal changes that poison our body and think about during an average day how often that happens when someone does something to upset you run you run things through your head that are really really ticking you off all those times they're running those chemicals and i think we get addicted to that so we look for christ we look for the next business it's not conscious it's not something I'm not blaming or anything, but it's something that we do tend to do is if you get hooked on those chemicals, you look for more of them. When you finish the crisis in your life, you find something else, you relive more in your head. The alternative, though, is to find that eye of the storm, to find that calm. And, and as you get into that calm, the storm, as it goes around you, it will start to fade away whatever you do in terms of a practice to start to build your ability to step into that center it's something that will develop over time because if you're hooked on those poison chemicals of the storm it's going to take a while for you to shake that but whatever you can do whether it's meditation whether it's being in nature um, running runners talk about being on a runner's high uh, for me one of my mindfulness processes is dance when i'm dancing with a partner i have to be in that moment i cannot um, think of anything else but be focused on my partner and the music and what's emerging from that because I'm as a lead I'm choreographing I, I mean even for me making my latte it is a mindfulness exercise or that that's a couple of minutes where I just I allow myself to be present but it's to find those opportunities not when the storm is hitting not when all the caca is happening but when there is a bit of a breather it's just like a muscle you know you, you, if you go to the gym and you try to press a few hundred pounds you are going to hurt yourself but if you build yourself up over time start with smaller amounts when uh, you will get there you will build that muscle so the question I'd ask of you is especially right now if here's the amazing thing there's so many people that are still without power and yet are connected to the world through the uh through their phones and through through their computers if there's nothing that you can do but wait and yesterday when the power was out wouldn't that be a great time to actually practice some of this stuff yeah get into the storm chips get into that but also a little bit of practice in the mindfulness what can you do every single day to build your space in the 
eye of the storm in that calm so that when the storm hits that you won't just be carried away by it because you're looking for that chemical hit how can you stay calm in the storm in your life in all the stuff that happens in all the caca so you can be a whole lot more resourceful what can you do today when it's not crazy to make you more resourceful when it is and here right on cue is the sun have an amazing day cheers <laughs>